Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for the fans of Serif Software Facebook group. Um, the title of this video would be Beginner's Guide Part 16 but in reality it's really just a part 2 of the Beginner's Guide Part 15 because in Part 15 I looked at the Color Range tool and I used that tool to color pop this image and by that I mean I I kept all the red areas beyond this taxi or the the London bus or the light tra uh, back lights of these cars and the rest of it I made in black and white now I'm going to use the same tool again but this time I'm going to change all those red areas um, to a different colour um, but I won't be making the background or whatever you black and white that will still be in colour um, the colour range tool is a selection tool in that it selects an area so to find it you need to come to the select menu and down to colour range and then the colour range window will open up here the, the representation of the image, the main image. Now, in the first video, I used these color picker eyedroppers and I clicked on the add color and then I went around selecting all the reds, different shades of red I could find to select them. I did also show you that you can pick a color to select from this drop down menu. Now, in, in my case, because I'm going for red, um, I will I will be using just selecting the reds from here. But why I showed you the color drop away, color pick away, the first in the first video was for if you were trying to pick a color that isn't listed here, because these are like the main colors like yellow green and cyan and magentas but you, know, you were trying to pick some weird purple color or something like that it's easier to use the color pickers because you can see where the colors are and this program probably wouldn't so I'm going to click on the show selection and then I'm going to select reds now, as you can see it's selected all the reds that you can find within a, the red, red range that Serif has already preset because I can't alter it because you can't move the smoothness slider but for the purposes of what I'm doing here that is okay now the other thing in the first um, look at this tool I clicked on the invert because I wanted to select all the red areas because at the moment it's it will select all the background areas so that is what I want for this look at this tool so I will not put a tick in to that this time so I will click OK and once you clicked OK all these areas um, and much more is selected than when I used the tool the first time but the red areas will be should be outside of those areas uh, that are selected. Now, in the first video, I used the black and white adjustment tool because it was the background that I wanted to make black and white. But this time, I'm going to use the hue saturation adjustment tool. So I will click on that, and it will add the hue adjustment tool and a layer mask yeah as you I can't really zoom in on this but in fact I can I can right click and view mask and this is what the mask is going to be like protecting or showing so as you can see it selected some red areas there is obviously some very faint red in the building 
but we could always delete some of that or you probably won't even notice it so much so I'll go back to the image and then just click back on that layer so to change the colors I'm just going to move the hue slider and I'll first go down to the blue end of the range and as you can see what was red in that taxi is now blue and then go the other way you could make it green what should I do is I'll come more to the yellow I think that will stand out a bit more you could boost the saturation a bit I don't want to go too much otherwise you'll lose some of the detail so as you can see like the red bus is now sort of orangey and even some of the tail lights are now yellow now in the first video I used the paintbrush tool to um, take away some areas that are red that were distracting now the same would apply here um, so if I select the paintbrush tool and I want white as the foreground colour um, sorry scratch that it's the black as the foreground colour uh, increase the brush size a bit and I will zoom in if I just click on these areas I want to bring back as red because it does look a bit silly with yellow tail lights um, I think that was yellow anyway so that won't alter when I go over that I'll bring back the red of the traffic lights and also you could sort of take away any hints of yellow that were yellow or red that were in the building to bring back a lot of their colour as well but there wasn't much in there so you hardly noticeable let's see what else we got here like before I've got a partly red bus and a partly yellow bus so I might as well make that all red I just want to take the tower light of the taxi. I have to zoom it a bit more here. Reduce the brush size. There we go. Now let's just zoom out again. And I th think I can pretty much leave that as it is. So that's really the end of this little tutorial. Um, like I said, the first one, I colour pop the colours. And this version, I have altered the colours. So the colour range tool can be used to do one or the other. Or a lot of it depending on what adjustment tool you use with the selection it makes. So I hope that has been of some use. Thank you and goodbye.